welcome back my lovely people now have you been passing by on an emotive woman next door and then you glance into this much watering dish perhaps you love the dish and don't know how to prepare it now grab your coffee and let's do this together yeah and so on this recipe i will need my cow food my goat head is an infusion we are actually combine both together and so now my beef is on the heat now i will add my onion chopped into four medium size of onion chopped into four my castle pepper that is actually optional but i love the taste it gives to the sauce of my beef so that's why i'm adding it though when cooked i will separate it from the beef before use and so guys now i will add my salt to taste and my seasoning so that I will stay together and then I will be adding some water to this cow food this actually need a lot of water guys I'm not using pressure cooker for this and you know how long to cook the cow food so that will actually take me 45 to 15 minutes to cook and so guys these are the ingredients i will be needing for the sauce yeah now the calf the beef is cooked that has been cooking for 40 minutes yeah 40 minutes it took 40 minutes to cook now we'll cover that and these are the ingredients i will use my bitter ham or taz is uh, my spanish yeah I'm using Spanish. I'm supposed to use utazese, but I run out of it. The fresh utazese, so I'm using the Spanish in order to make the video, you know, nice. So that's my calabash nutmeg, my audible potash. The calabash nutmeg, should in case you don't know how it looks like, it will we call that it will in Igbo. That's my chili, my blended crayfish, my palm oil half cup of a palm oil will be enough for this recipe and so guys back to the beef now what i will be doing is to separate the bone from the beef Now guys, I will be blending some of the tendon. I'm actually supposed to use the goat brain, but I run out of it. So I will be using the tendon to thicken the sauce. And so I'm grinding, blending about three pieces of that to be okay for this recipe. Yeah. So guys, I will be adding some warm water to the tendon before blend to enable it to blend easily. I'm actually gonna blend this, blend it nicely until well smooth like a puree or creamy form. You blend it as much as you can when thick you add a little bit of the warm water so it blend easily yeah and so guys my tendon has been blended but it's thick for my liking so what i actually did was to mix it with 
a little bit of warm water before use just to tick can you see that I added some warm water to it and so guys my pot is on now I'm adding my half cup of palm oil you can actually add more depend on the beef the quantity of the beef you are using and so now what I'll be doing is to add my potage my audible potage batch by batch to the oil and you start to stay you stay nicely you stay continuously what this actually does to the oil the potage does to the oil is to make it creamy and changes the color a little bit thicker and can you see how creamy and thicker it is the potage that is what it does to the oil you add batch by batch until it's you see how the color is changing now it changes the color like in a yellowish form or orange Yeah, keep on stirring that until foam. Can you see that the color has changed already? Now I'm adding my tendon. Can you see how watery it is? Because I I mix it with warm water, like I said earlier. You add to the taste to your taste you wouldn't wouldn't why what the tendon actually does is to make the sauce to be thick you wouldn't want your uncobby sauce to be watery so now we add my calabash nutmeg which i showed earlier yeah i cracked and blend it this blend it, the seed inside so that's my chili add chili to your taste if you are the kind that love chili you add more that's my blended crayfish about four spoon and my maggi seasoning you stir this combine together and this is my utazi dried utazi bitter ham yeah guys i'm supposed to use the fresh one but just so you know the, the the dried one actually comes out the same with the fresh one trust me i dried it myself and the taste are all the same so i dried it and this you can store in the fridge or even out the fridge you can store it for longer it's, it's actually serve you for a long time so i added that and the taste was wow And so guys now you'll be adding your beef to the sauce you combine those together stir and combine them together make sure they are well combined guys the aroma coming out from this and Kobe. oh my god <laughs> guys you can as swear try this process that i'm using for this and Kobe, and you will love it this and Kobe already is making me feel hungry <laughs> and so I tested it and it's okay for me so what I do I did now was to on the heat I on the heat and leave that to simmer for about two to three minutes here yeah.
yeah you leave it to simmer for two to three minutes so guys the kobe is ready guys i will be coming back to stop into my channel saying a very big thank you god bless you and if today is your first time please do not fail to leave a comment give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if there is any video you want to be seeing on this channel please do not fail to leave it on the comment section below i really appreciate you guys guys can you see the color now i will be adding my spanish this is an, this is an alternative for uziza i was supposed to use the fresh uziza but because i don't have it and for the video we wouldn't like to see the probably looking <laughs> one kind one kind you understand what i mean so now i'm using the spanish to just garnish the f face of the nkobi yeah my hobby actually love to take this with some chill wine on a cold and rainy day so today i will be serving him this with some chill wine you can use it with any soft drink that you want any soft drink this can actually be made for anyone that is dear in your heart and so hobby will be